Hi. You might be asking yourself, Adam, what are you doing? Well, I'm gonna tell you. I wrote a book, and when you write a book, you have to do like things. One of those things is write your book. Done. I have done that. I have written. But what I'm doing right now is finishing, they're called tippins, and these are them. And basically, I have 5,000 sheets of paper that I signed, so that there's going to be like signed books. You know, have fun. Signed by the author, by an author. The really exciting thing is like why I'm filming right now is because <laughs> I'm gonna be f***ing finished and it's taken me forever. I think it's taken me almost a month to finish all 5,000 of these. Here's the other thing, we lost a few good men, you know. This was um, one that went astray. This was one where I forgot how to spell my last name. This is one where um, a spirit came over my body and I was no longer allowed to write it correctly. Um, this is one where I forgot that I had an I in Ripon. This is where I wrote an M at the end of Ripon. And this is where I really like started to freestyle. You know what? Didn't need them. But I'm almost finished. I'm gonna about to sob. Ugh. See, like right now, I did mess up my last name in this one that I just did. But you know what? It's like, uh, it's okay. Oh my god, I'm messing up. I just messed up two in a row. Okay, I really need to focus. Writing a book, especially after Olympics and everything and all of this stuff that's been like going on in my life, it was actually an amazing experience. And I owe it to like a lot of people who helped me and who I worked with, but it was so therapeutic. It was great. And the one thing that I forgot was a lot of stuff because you need to remember a ton of shit that you haven't thought about in years. And when I wrote this book, the one thing I really wanted it to be was funny. I have two of these left. One. There we go. All right, here we go. This is the very last autograph. Adam, oh gosh. Rip on. Can you believe it? I'm shocked. You know what? Now it's time. First of all, it's a little hot. It's time to get dressed and tell you the story of writing a book. But so writing the book was great. It was honestly, I had such a great experience writing the book. I had so much fun. It was so freaking hard, but it was really great. And I think that I wrote something really funny and something that I really like. And I would be lying if I said that there weren't like a million times where I drove everybody in my life freaking crazy. JP, did I drive you nuts when I was writing the book? No. Yes, you did. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I did. I drove everybody crazy because I was so worried about it. I just wanted it to sound like me and sound like my voice. And I think I f***ing nailed it. Actually, I have no idea. I hope I did. Uh, but I've gotten to do some really cool things. I went to BookCon. Adam. which is like Comic-Con, but like for books. Hi everybody, thanks for coming. And then how many people have just been addicted like me to uh, YouTube clips of Adam these last couple of days? That, um, I feel like a lot of the experiences that I've been able to have are because of the people who've come before me and all of the things that they've done. Um, oh, well, go here first, what's your name? Melissa. Melissa. Hi, Melissa. What's your question for Adam? writing the book, what was the most challenging part of the whole process and how did you go about getting through it? Um, honestly, the first, the most challenging part was getting started and, and how to um, frame the story and, and how to kind of integrate all of the things I wanted to tell. Hi, we're at a panel at BookCon and I've tried to record this video once before, but okay, everybody say hi. <laughs> Woo! 
that's why I have this t-shirt. This t-shirt was like from my publishers because they thought I was going to wear it and then I didn't because I got embarrassed. But I'm not embarrassed now. I'm embracing it. Yeah, writing the book was... I'm so glad I did it. I don't know if I could do it again for a very long time. I need a hot minute before I write another book. But it was great. I'm so glad that I did it because it was it was honestly like therapy. Because so many things in my life since the Olympics have changed. And to kind of go through it and, and process all of that, I, I'm so glad that I had that opportunity. I'm so glad that I worked with the people that I worked with because they were amazing. I'm so glad that they let me write something that I thought was funny. Basically, I just, I want people to read this. I want them to learn a little bit more about me, but even if you don't know anything about me, I just want you to read this and I want you to laugh. So it was really important for me that I wrote something that was funny. Like I said, I think twice before, but before I had a shirt on and now I do. So I hope maybe now you're listening and not distracted. But yeah, BookCon was it was awesome. It was so great to meet so many people and so many authors. There were like days where I wouldn't be able to talk to anybody because I'd be so stressed out about what was going on or that I wasn't able to like link something together, but I don't know. I made it through, you know? I persevered and I pushed. And I think the other thing is so like I named, I wanted to title it Beautiful on the Outside. One, because I thought it was hilarious and funny. But the other is that like, I think there are so many times in all of our lives where we want people to think of us as like nothing going on, no problems. And we want people to think that we're beautiful on the outside when on the inside, there's like, she could be on fire. And uh, so it's sort of like a play on that, especially like as an athlete, uh, you know, you'd never want anybody to see your weaknesses. There were so many times that I was just wanted people just to see like the exterior and and not really focus and then when i embraced my imperfections is when i actually felt my best and most authentic self this book is basically a story a multitude of stories of when i didn't feel my best but i realized that when i didn't worry about those things that that's really when i was my best and i focused on trying to be my best every day and um that's really what the, the book is all about so the book is coming out october 15th and i can't freaking wait and I do have a book tour, and I'm gonna tell you what the book tour is. The book tour. October 15th, we're in New York City at Barnes & Noble at Union Square. October 16th, Washington, D.C. October 17th, Philadelphia. October 18th, Boston. October 19th, Madison, Wisconsin. October 20th, Chicago, Illinois. October 21st, Boulder, Colorado. October 23rd, Los Angeles at Book Soup. Um, October 24th in San Francisco. October 25th in Seattle. October 29th in Houston. November 3rd in Atlanta. And November 23rd in Miami. And hold on, I need to show you all this shit because like it didn't feel like I had to do a lot until I had to do them all. Look at this shit. It doesn't look like a lot. You're probably thinking to yourself, this will get done quick, right? No wrong it'll take you months and um yeah that's it i just signed 5,000 sheets of paper i'm gonna run to the ups and send them back to my publishing house hopefully you guys are going to pre-order yeah let's do this pre-order the book let's get on the new york times bestseller list let's just go for it you know let's just be like there thanks for watching pre-order beautiful on the outside so hashtag beautiful on the outside and also, bye.